Hey guys, and welcome to my first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. My name is Connor, and today I will be showing you how to texture your landscapes and use the paint tool to apply them. Alright, so we can just get down to it. So the first thing that you'll actually need to do would just be go to your content browser. Um, from there, you can choose whatever, um, whatever folder you would like. You can go ahead and make a new one if you'd like, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and place it here. Um, you're going to go ahead and just click on material. Um, you can go ahead and name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just name it landscape one. Okay, that will create. So you're going to double click it and the sky will pop up. So from there, the very first thing that you'll need to do would be to grab some textures. Um, so what I have is Infinity Blade. Um, I have Firelands, Grasslands, and Icelands. So those are actually free assets you can go ahead and grab on the Assets Store. Um, they're actually really good. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in Grass. And then you're going to go ahead and go all the way down until you hit the Diffuse and Normal Maps. So from there, you're just going to want to head and go and click on whatever one you kind of want to do. So let's go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and do this guy and this guy. So you're going to want to go ahead and open the diffuse map and the normal map. Usually it'll be um, the diffuse map and then the normal map will usually be on the right side of it. It is this purple guy right here. Um, so you go ahead and click on both of those. You're going to go over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and just hit save because this is my first time opening it on this new um, project. So what you're going to want to do is actually make this big screen, and then go to content browser, and then you're going to take those two that you just did and plop them in there. So first thing, you're just going to take your normal map, put it there, and and just set it there. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is right click and get landscape coordinates. Landscape layer chords. Um, you can go ahead and click Control W and that will create another one. You're going to want to take the UV of the texture sample and put it directly into the landscape coordinate. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up a layer blend. And just go ahead and enter. Oops. Actually just grabbed the wrong one. Sorry. And then you're going to find landscape layer blend. All right, then you're going to go ahead and just click on that. You can go ahead over here to the left and hit Add Element. You're going to name that grass or whatever you'd like, whatever texture you were actually doing at the time. You're going to change this guy to the height blend, and you're going to change this to 0, oops, excuse me, 1.0. Um, and then that is it for that. You can actually go ahead and Control w again. Bring that down here. And you're going to go ahead and connect the layer grass to the first one and the height grass to the bottom one. And this guy goes to base color. See how that works right there? And then same thing to this guy. But this guy goes to the normal map. <coughs> And then that will create your basic uh, texture over here. Um, and then from there, you can just go ahead and hit uh, metallic. And then you go down to constants and grab a constant node. You're going to want to just leave that um, as of now. <coughs> Excuse me. So then you're going to want to go ahead and do the roughness and do the same thing, constant. And you can go ahead and put 0 0.7. 
Um, you can actually put whatever you'd like, but I found that anything below 0 0.1 um, is actually effective. I don't know if that's for sure. Um, I could be wrong, but then from there, you can just go ahead and hit apply. And then you can go ahead and hit save, minimize that, and then go back to your content browser. And you're just going to go ahead and click on your landscape. You're just going to go ahead and find the landscape one, the one that you just made, and you're going to click and you drag that drop into the landscape material. So that's going to take a second to compile all the shaders, but it should be done in just a moment. All right, so uh, we are back, and it is all compiled, and now you can see there's all the graphs. So all this is not a big deal. You can just go ahead and just build all levels. That'll just build all the, uh, the shaders. All right, and then from there, you can just go over here to landscape and then paint, and then you click on this guy and then just hit graphs. Um, mine's already clicked, so there's that. Just make sure that guy's highlighted, and then you can just go ahead and just fill all this guy in. should just be about it. Yeah, you can see that this one is not um, as big as it should be. The light mass, uh, but it's no big deal. So there's that. And then if you would like to go ahead and make a different texture um, along with that, you can go ahead and just click on the layer blend, add element, and then figure out which texture you want to use. So if you'd like to use dirt, um, stone, rock, whatever you would have um, within your assets. So uh, let's do, let's just do stone. Let's see what we got for there. Okay. So let's do this guy and that one. Same thing, you just go ahead and hit save. And that's just because um, it's my first time opening this asset, like I said. You can see how it kind of renders it a little bit. All right. Uh, let me get bigger. Take those two, do the same exact thing. And the UV goes here. And then for the layer blend, um, you just come back down here to the new one that you made. And let's do stone. And then height blend, you can just do 0 0.3. Yeah, let's do 0 0.3. Um, it can actually be whatever you would like. Um, but I just found it more effective to just lower the number as you go. So then you just do the same thing to the normal map one. Just add stone and height blend and 0 0.3. Now you're just going to take these and do the same exact thing. So then we can go ahead and apply and save. And it again, it'll take a second to just compile the shaders. Uh, let's see. And you can just go over here to landscape, and then you can go to paint. OK, actually, before you do that, you're going to have to go ahead and click on the landscape and just drag and drop that landscape one more time into there, just so it kind of reloads. Um, then you're going to go to the landscape on this side, and you're going to see stone has um, appeared. And then you're just going to click that. Excuse me, you're going to go create 
layer, and then you're going to go non weight to blend layer. Hit OK. And exit. And then let's go with just the grass for a second. So let me just make sure this is covered. So you can see the tall grass. And you just click the stone. And it'll take just a second to compile. So you can actually let's see the brush fall off a little bit. A little half. There we go. You could like, you know, just draw it. Or you can, you know, basically do whatever. You can use the cobblestone to make a nice, really nice half. Or, you know, you can get really creative with that. So um there it is. There is the rocks, there's the grass. You can adjust all the settings, like I said. If you guys have any questions. Um, feel free to comment, or if you guys um, seen anything I could improve on or anything I did wrong, please feel free to comment. I'm open to criticism as I am fairly new to Unreal Engine 4. Um, so thank you again for checking out this video. Hope that helped.